So each year I talk about the best drones of blah, blah, blah X year. And this year was no different. We talked about the best drones of 2020 in a live stream, but I thought it would be fun to talk about the biggest failures when it came to drones. Now this year, I really can only select three different manufacturers that just dropped the ball and absolutely failed. So today we're talking about those losers. Well, they're not actually losers. Not all of them are losers. One of them can actually redeem themselves. The other two, well, there, there's no hope for them. Let's get started. What's good everybody, Ken here. You're watching Original Dobo. Today's video, we are talking about the biggest drone failures of 2020. I know the year's not over, but I don't think we're gonna see any other drones that could potentially be worse than these three. So let's just get into it. I've ranked this list from three, two, and one. Three being one that I feel like is, I would almost say this is honorable mention because they have a chance to redeem themselves. Two, they sucked, but they still launched. One, you are the scumbag of the drone manufacturer, Earth. Number three is a drone that just never quite evolved this year. Yep, I'm talking about the X-Dynamics Evolve 2. Now, to be fair, the X-Dynamics team did have a very, very tough time at CES. Their vehicle was broken into on the way to CES. They had passport issues. They had been plagued with issues throughout the year, and then COVID hit, which obviously took a toll. Now, they showed a lot of promise at CES with this drone, and I was really excited about this. They talked about how they fixed the image transmission signal. They talked about how they fixed the flight characteristics that a lot of pilots complained about. And they introduced a better camera, a micro four thirds camera system that can shoot ProRes 422 to an SSD on the drone itself. So all, all really impressive specs, all really impressive things, but none of that matters if a drone isn't released or announced. In an odd turn of events, X-Dynamics has released video after video on social media with these peculiar captions with zero offerings of updates or letting their fan base know, all five of their fans know, when this next drone is going to be released or announced or available. I know some of these fans bought the X-Dynamics Evolve 1 and they were offered a $1,000 upgrade to get the two. So I know if I had the one and I still had the one, I would be pretty pissed today because that drone just sort of fell short of all expectations. So, but with that said, X-Dynamics can turn the ship around in 2021. With the release of the Evolve 2, I think they can sort of wipe the board clean and start fresh. All right, so number two on this list just smelt a bit rotten. It wasn't all that it was cracked up to be, and yeah, you probably guessed it. I'm talking about the Power Egg Vision X, Egg Vision X, Power Egg X, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what their sick infatuation is with, with eggs, but Power Vision, Egg X, Power Egg X. Damn, I hate that name. I really hate that name almost as much as I hate the drone. This drone was just really weird. They did a great job marketing it at CES. They had them flying through water. They had the girls doing the action camera. It looked like an odd, you know, weird, creepy, creepy egg handy camera. Anyways, you had to see it to really understand it, but it was creepy. It was creepy, like creeper creepy weird. Anyways, this drone gets into my hands and the first time I get this drone, two batteries, dead, bricked, no good, had to get two more batteries warranted out. Countless reviewers have had issues with this drone's quality control. Who had a broken camera? Who had problems with the ESC? Whose drone literally had a cracked egg shell? Like the shell of the egg was cracked. Damage, it was a dented egg, it was, it was a bad egg, it was a dud. Things like this just shouldn't happen. Finally, when you were able to get the drone in the air, it just flew like crap. It was really, really loose all over the place. Not to mention the camera looked like shit. It looked like they took the Mavic 1 camera, the Mavic 1 Pro camera, and made it worse. I don't know how you can do that, but they found a way to make the camera worse, and they did, and that's what you got. All in all, this drone just missed the boat entirely. It was aimed at people seeking adventure because you can land on water, it can be flown in the rain, but in practice, none of that really worked all that well. Matter of fact, at one point, I actually got my power egg stuck on a lake when it wouldn't arm again. Yeah, so that just didn't work out well. It was a bad idea across the board. It, it was good intention, bad execution. That's why I put this one at number two. All right, so number three, you probably already guessed this. I can see Bob White in the chat like, ha, 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 I know what this is. 
Simmer down, Bob. Just sit, sit down, sit, sit down, Bob. Zero, zero V copter. I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. The minute I saw the marketing for this drone, I knew there was disaster written all over it. I knew we would never see this bicopter flying phenomenon in our lifetime. The Zero Zero Robotics Falcon V-Copter, what a name, what a mouthful. It boasted a bicopter design, 50 minutes of flight time, obstacle avoidance. Beyond that, why? Why? Why would you want this other than you could impress your friends with a bicopter design? Nobody cares, nobody cares. Francis, nobody cares that you have two props less than I do. Nobody cares, sit down, jackass. The bicopter design never shipped, never even made an official debut. Matter of fact, at CES, they didn't even have a working prototype of the full version flying. Nope, they had a little miniature version flying, which was still pretty cool, albeit. But when you ask any questions, the team got very, very uptight. They also didn't want you really handling the V-Copter at all, which I thought was weird. When I went to go film it, I sort of got my hand swatted at for even filming it. Asking them questions, they were not apt to answer any of our questions, which I thought was a little bit peculiar. Fast forward to today, nothing, mum's the word. If you look at their social media accounts and blog posts, they haven't updated any of it since February of 2020. That's a good long while. COVID's already taken its toll and sort of simmered down over in China. What's the deal, Zero Zero? I think if you think of it like this, Zero Zero's name actually represents something. Zero drones sold and shipped, zero happy customers. So you're right, Zero Zero, there you go. This drone is still accepting pre-orders for $100. I can't imagine how many poor suckers have pre-ordered this drone around the holiday season thinking that it was ever gonna ship. So if you haven't already, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and get a refund. At least it's done through PayPal, so your chances of getting your money back pretty swiftly is better than not. But the lack of communication is scary if you are having trouble getting your, your money back. Alrighty, so that's my list. I don't know if your list is similar, but those are the drones that really stuck out of my mind as, as sort of failures this year. Failure to launch, if you wanna call it, failure to ship, failure to, to fly correctly or produce a sound product. I mean, three isn't bad for all the drones that were released this year, a year where DJI really pumped out release after release in a really tumultuous time with COVID and the pandemic and everything happening. A lot of manufacturers were still able to press on and put out great products, while a few you can see just don't have the infrastructure to push forward. And that's not uncommon. We'll have to see next year if the X Dynamics team can come back and, and right the wrong of 2020. Hopefully uh, 2020 doesn't have a sequel because I don't, I don't think I can handle it. I don't think I can handle it. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, there, there's like 29 more videos because that's that's what I'm doing. I'm making 29 videos. Right, Paul? Yep, he's he's giving me the thumbs up. He's not actually here. I don't know why. I'm I'm talking to a gimbal. 29 videos. Stay original. Oh, you guys are still here. Uh, well, if you are, check out the video above, and uh, you can check out uh, Drone Brews on Wednesdays, where I make an alcoholic mess of things. All right. Go, just leave.